once upon a time, not so many years ago, a pretty and nicely painted vessel sailed upon the seven seas. Her hull was smooth and clean, and she was steaming through the blue water, loaded with cargo and confidence. The owner's mood was just as high, as his fuel bill was low, and the crew was extremely proud working on board the well-maintained ship. Then, one day, the vessel started to behave differently and slowed down. The bosun, who was an experienced diver, said to the captain, Last night I had a terrible dream that all kind of fouling, shells and seaweed was sticking to the hull and slowing us down. One minute later, he was joined by his good buddy, the steward, who was also a diver, and they jumped overboard to check the hull. This was what the bosun had seen in his dream, which he himself described as a nightmare. The first thing I noticed was biological slime, which, at a closer look, was made up of billions of diatoms. Already in the waterline, I saw green seaweed, looking like a lawn so close to the sunlight. Deeper, the seaweed preferred areas where the anti-fouling had peeled off. The anchor chain had damaged the coating on the bulbous bow, and barnacles found a good place to settle in the scratches. In between, I saw patches of bryozoan colonies, Some of the barnacles had successfully penetrated the coating to get a better grip. On the bilge keel, I also found plenty of barnacles and crowds of blue mussels. On some of the peeled areas, small barnacles proliferated, ready for a free ride. With strong water currents, the propeller boss is a nice place to be if you're a barnacle. In the sea chest, I saw the most beautiful marine life. Sea anemones, corals and barnacles. I was really fascinated by the gooseneck barnacles. I saw five to six larvae of gooseneck barnacles only one and a half millimeters in length and just settled close to the adults. In Spain and Portugal, they call them pesebis and some species taste delicious. Hydroids are animal colonies and do not need light to grow. They are akin to the jellyfish. The chief engineer showed me this seawater filter before and after cleaning for hydroids. Sometimes we also see tube worms, like these on the bulkheads in the ballast tanks. But here, I'm looking at the flat bottom, fouled with tube worms. Bryozoan comes in many forms most of them very pretty. I saw them on the port vertical side in large colonies. <coughs> Fortunately, this was only a nightmare, sighed the bosun when he was back on deck again. Captain, your ship is completely clean of any fouling and as smooth as when it left dry dock many years ago. 
With a big smile, the bosun told the captain that he had just kissed the two mermaids clinging to the bilge keel and asked them to find another ship to bother 